when the person is imbalanced, when the person is sick, something happens to the body. The body, this physical body, okay, has um, an energy body already, how should we say, experimented, seen, and this is what we work on, this energy body we call the etheric body. Normally, or more commonly, it is called the aura. Now, when a person is sick, the aura is affected. The aura becomes dirty. We call that the dirty energy. So, pranic healing is based on the principle of deceased energy. So, what do we do? We clean up this deceased energy and we replace this disease energy with clean energy. So it is a principle of cleansing and energizing. Corresponding to the blood vessels are what we call the, the nadis or the meridians. So we work on this, especially the chakras and the aura. Very, very interesting. If a person gets sick, if a human being gets sick, okay, then all the other you know, aspects of the human being can get sick. What about our finances? You know, what about our wallets? They get sick in that, you know, in another sense. So healing can be done on any aspect of, of, uh, of, of mankind. So we have healing of, uh, I would say the wallet, right? Healing of our finances, healing of a business, healing of our, um, how do you call that, our projects, our goals, our... So, every aspect of life is part and parcel of uh, pranic healing. Master is a master of synthesis. He's a genius. Yoga is uh, this help, okay, uh, to facilitate and accelerate the evolution of the soul. Pranic healing is so vast. It's, it's, it's like a rainbow of many colors, you know, like the coat of many colors, because it can be applied in so many, so many, so many ways. Pranic healing helps in healing, treating a business. Pranic agriculture, for one's goals and objectives. Pranic healing accompanies pregnant women, relationship healing, partners between couples in the office, you know, workplace, and then the relationship of fam within families. And that's what pranic healing does.